that portion of the off season is like being like sort of counted for, <laughs> for rankings. It's like kind of on a, a interesting basis because of the stages. Right. However, the time that they played previously, HBox actually won. Yeah, Smash Three two at SmashCon earlier this year. So pretty, pretty, pretty important to note there. Cody ranked number two right now in the summer rankings, and HBox ranked number eight. But um, HBox showed some true grit and keeping his top eight streak alive, still top eighting everything, uh, with the exception of the off season, which again, we're not entirely certain <laughs> how much we're going to be counting that. Ledge and refreshing over and over again. Cody knows that he'll just kind of wait for his opening, building up good laser damage at this point. Gets the percent such that up smash is going to KO there, and up throw up is going to KO gets the up smash KO yeah. there. Maybe retreating bear really good too. But you just gotta mix that up smash in here or there, because if you're doing it too much, HBox is gonna sniff that out and snuff you out. That was a really good neutral air, by the way. It just was like the perfect little hitbox to cover that side B. So good. I, I like the way that HBox has been edge guarding throughout this tournament. Kind of going out there and making some nice call outs. Ooh, that fan over good. Oh! That's gonna be it. Was that up there? Is up air. I feel like was that up air? I didn't. I, I, yeah, I, I looked away for a half a second. <laughs> Same. And he was just gone. <laughs> I think that's what really makes this matchup kind of tough for Jigglypuff. Yeah. When the absolutely. fox is playing like this. Again, Puff is a character that is, you know, lead dependent. Puff playing from behind is way different than playing with the lead. Yeah. And Hbox opted not to go to Dreamland off rip for his first counter pick too. And drops an early stock. The layout of the stage a little bit better than perhaps on a stage like Dreamland. Absolutely. No, I, I think HBox actually explicitly will talk about that sometimes too. Oh, okay. Don't gonna be a stock trade. Can't just be up smashing that close. It's gonna be a rest out of shield. Possible moment. Yeah. So it feels like you're gonna hit him and then whoop, that little shield comes out. Oh, yeah. That used to be the theme of him in M2K sets back in the day. Right. M2K would play so slow and patient and then he would just up smash and die. <laughs> Cause, and then lose. Because HBox also knows that's what you were going for, especially at those particular yep. percents, right? Yep. He's looking for it. So juicy. He's scouting it out. But Cody is currently scouting out these up airs. Uh, this set is just passing by in the blink of an eye. Those up throw up there are so potent. Whoa, get in there. Tries to go for down tilt, actually, which is really interesting in the, the combo sequence. Again, I really like it. Kind of covers like pretty far in front of you as well from a grounded position, which is pretty nice for Fox's end. Oh my. This is looking like the Cody oh, show. My. Okay. Oh my. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of style here with the up B. I don't hate seeing it. No? I, I, don't, I don't hate it at all. Three stocks to one. Yeah, you got stocks Absolutely. to play. Absolutely. You gotta. Oh my. So fast. Again, he's like one of the best Fox and Pup players that I've ever seen. I mean, Fox is just, okay. a, just like a very well-rounded character, right? So you can kind of play close quarters. You can play a little bit farther away. Well-rounded is the most, it's the nicest way I've ever <laughs> heard somebody talk about how good Pup Fox is before. He's so well-rounded. He's so well so, I think the word that I usually hear starts with a B and ends with a broken. Buttery movement. <laughs> Baroque. Baroque. <laughs> oh, again, Juan dropping the first stock. Oh, but we will get a nice soft to heart. The, uh, what do you call it? The Gordita? That's right. That's what we used to call it back in the day. That's right. Yeah. I'm in the lead. We're two minutes in. Actually, Cody had to play Faust to get to this portion of the racket. And Faust was playing hot this week, too. Faust was playing hot. But Cody's just super comfortable playing these distances and knows when he can get the lasers uncontested. Oh, no. That's big. Wow. That's a stock. Oh, my. Okay. Just That's amidst true. all the... You're right. You know, because the lasers really do just... Oh, no. What is that there? I think Juan jumped on accident. Jumped above the Firefox position. Yeah. Tries, sure. to, tries to get the back air before Fox and get the side beat oh, no. He accidentally turns around after drill two. Cody hunts him down in the corner, and that is a quick 3-0. Cody is focused, sharp, and Juan has got another top eight under his belt. <laughs> he keeps the streak alive outside of the offseason two. Game one, Zane versus Aklo. Oh my god, I'm sorry about the huge tipper. You know, Zane has been kind of letting the early tippers rock throughout this top 24 as we as I've been watching. Today. I like it. Introduce it early. I think so. Put the fear of the big F Smash stick in their in their brains. Right. Oh what a tech. I didn't even think he was gonna be able to get down to the ground. Yeah, that's amazing. 
That's a really good option, especially against the up B, right? Because there's just so much end lag afterwards that you're pretty safe and you'll reset back to neutral if you get the Alms attack. Unless Zane gets like a crazy edge dance. Oh no. Oh my god. That's always so scary. <laughs> so scary. Marth just like hitting a spacey a little bit off the stage yeah. with any move. <laughs> we all hold our breath. Ooh, okay. I think that was maybe up tilt, perhaps? I think it ended up being uh, up air. Not sure. But definitely misspaced the up air at the very least. Oh no. No zipper here. Nice! Ah. And as we pointed out before, getting third at Shine, he's knocking on the door of winning a major. Yeah, he's Getting not a so guy close. any longer who's like, oh my god, I made top eight. Mm -hmm. He's a guy who's like, all right, Zane is going down. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm not satisfied with where I am. I'm trying to win the whole thing. Definitely. Nice. That was actually a super good late ledge grab setup. Okay, okay. I like these little wave dashes. See, resetting back to neutral. Slowing it down a little bit. Just roll in jab up smash. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're not ready for the roll-in, it is one of the best options out of the corner. It just looks bad when they are ready for it. Right. You look so dumb. Also, something interesting about how Zane and Foxes in general have been choosing the neutral stage, it used to be a lot more Battlefield at the starting part of the year, but Zane has been opting to go FOD a little bit more in the first game because it feels like he can just be a little bit more creative, oh, wait. as we're seeing almost in that potential combo. He just jumped it. I just see the ring. Ah, he still gets ledge. So Zane is pretty comfortable on FOD, which I think is kind of cool to yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, that is interesting. Um, you know, being able to almost save Battlefield for like a counter pick. Yeah. Because I do feel like the Battlefield Legends, you know, oh my god! Even Aklo kind of, you know, not super happy with the way that, I mean, he's happy, obviously, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah. that was a crazy interaction because the forward air was like a little bit away from hitting that a B. I, I, I didn't. I was like in my head when you were saying about that. I was like, Blaine's going FD. Like he's not gonna. <laughs> he's kind of bringing yeah. FD, and yet he's going to Fox. So that's the power of Aklo having Link in the back in the back pocket, right? Is that the Fox or the Mark player is kind of a little bit scared to go FD because you might not want to play that matchup in particular. So you'll go a different stage and then just do Marth Fox instead. Yeah. So I think. The link counter pick has already worked out, even though it's not in play. Because you kind of at least took out FD for potentially a counter pick. When Marth does that up, you can kind of like get behind and then re grab before the Marth gets there. Ooh. Oh my god. How did he get away with side being there? Oh, and he went for. He even did the. If you jump there, the side B hitbox is actually a little bit lower, so it'll activate lower, but the. Sorry, the hurt box where it, where it activates, but the hit box stays the same, so you can't activate it and have it miss. So many hits lead to grab. So many just oh, 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 what, oh, oh. what are they doing? Holy. They're not hitting each other. I, are they just playing a different game than I can even comprehend right now? I feel like I'm Krillin watching like yeah. Goku fight Frieza and being like, what is even going on? That is the perfect <laughs> analogy. <laughs> Oh they were in God. like eight different levels just yeah, now. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> the, the depth. Nobody wanted to press a button. They were just like, I'm faster than you. Yeah. I'm here. No, I'm here. You press a button, I'm here. I'm here. You press a yeah. button, I'm here. First, and just be like, yeah, I'm going to outspace whatever you try to do. I'm going to dash dance around you. No, you didn't have to shine. Yeah, actually getting the double shine there is super good as well. Okay. Aqua could have been a little bit more confident oh, on the edge guard. That's disgusting. And that's a huge display yeah. that works. Yeah. While you're on ledge. Yeah, which is pretty nice. The forward air there, and if you're getting either the tipper or the soft hitbox, those are both fine. Right. right. Oh, Randall kind of throwing a wrench in the works. Great nice. down tilt. And also the, the little slant on Yoshi's making that down tilt all the more potent. It like pokes just a little bit better kind of angle for edge guarding. Ooh. Well, fires right back. Okay, okay. Baits out the early up B and then a perfect shine out of shield. What a crazy match, by the way. Dude, I've been seeing a lot of people mash extremely hard this weekend. I think it's important. People are just trying harder than ever. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they want it so bad. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the way, off of your the way these guys play. Bunts <laughs> <laughs> off your hands. <laughs> Physical oh, therapist. He reads the jump. Oh my god, that up air was so disgusting. Akko goes for the nuttiest angle. That's a tough angle to hit. That's a real tough angle to hit. Yeah, and yeah. it looked like they messed it up just a little bit, but it doesn't quite matter anyway. Oh, it's a no. it's going it's, back. It's, it's Link, Link, it's Link, it's Link, it's Link. Okay. 
Yeah, unless he's he's getting a lot of grabs, which Mark can pretty easily avoid. From but he's not going to have many actual kill setups without it. Yeah, I think the bombs really come into play, especially at these kind of percents. That's why you see... Oh, oh that was my so God. sick! This guy's on another level. Using the bomb to bounce yourself off of the wall. Oh, and is he going to take this stock down too? Okay, okay. 200%. He's <laughs> dropping bombs. This is like... Yo, what the hell? bombs have been so good for the recovery. I think the next tipper up here is going to do it. Dude, look at these bombs. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's another uh, nick at the back air that time. Hey, also, maybe it could be a thing where if he stales it on the back air, then uh, it won't break the bomb, you know? Oh! See, those are the setups. Like, bomb into aerial is a super good setup for Link. There's a video out there, and it's hilarious. Check it out. That was so nice. Just because of how long the grab is from Link, you can just crouch cancel and you don't have to dash in. You can just grab Press the for button. Him. You can be the one character that has a longer grab than, than Marth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, just spacing, just barely. Keep space. It's kind of like how Amsa throws an egg and then it lands at a proper, at the time that he wants to actually see that? off of it. He just, she dropped bomb, fell, and spot dodged the explosion. And the, and the explosion hits a. That was disgusting. He's keeping it even. Yeah, two stocks apiece. Look, this bump. He wants that game five. Oh, yeah, couldn't actually shield grab there because he had the bomb in yeah. there. So. Yeah, that's the other thing is he's also been mixing up where he'll hold on to a bomb for a little bit in an inter interaction. Right. Because off the hit, it often gets dropped and breaks stuff up. Ooh, but in that situation, I thought it might and it didn't. Yeah, I thought it would actually break up the grab as Same. you pointed out. But yeah. They know something we don't. Oh, oh, he goes for up air. Oh, the GI makes up. Dude, Zip. Echo GI'd that poorly. Oh, and that's going to seal it. The Link does so well. But Zane is Zane at the end of the day. The last time these two played was that major upset, and Plump won 3 to 1 back then. But as you pointed out, I mean, Plump <laughs> does definitely seem to do really well versus Yoshi and versus Amsa as well. Yes. As you pointed out, that 25 to 2 crazy, crazy exhibition match that they had. But hear me out. Amsa just has to take the two wins out of that 25 game and put them here in this particular set and then just do one more. And you gotta just find one more. Amsa ranked number seven right now and Pluck ranked number nine. Both of them had quite a few good tournament showings. Pluck getting first at Riptide, first at CEO, second at Major Upset. And Amsa getting first in the offseason, seventh at Riptide, fourth at Shine. There you go. Also, the oh, current God, just picks him off. That's actually, great. I neglected to mention that. Yeah. Defending his crown. Defending his crown. Don't get it twisted. Still got it. And he's still on the winner's side. Right. Yeah, he's, he's in position for it. But the plump matchup is hard. Yeah. <laughs> it, honestly, he got the, the tough. He got the brunt of it on winter semis. Um, you know, drawing club definitely tough. I'm sure he would have preferred uh, the other side. Yeah, any of the, uh, of the other projected competitors. The fuck so far. Looking pretty good. <laughs> no notes. Great. Um, just keep doing trying to figure it out. Also, just being able to build up percent like that, just off the chain grab to like 40 and get into an aerial is so nice having having that in your arsenal from Sheik set. Yeah, it's pretty big. Because that is something she can struggle with, lower percents against other characters when they're at lower percents. Exactly. Um, so having the chain grab, even as low as it goes, it's like 30 at yeah. most, I think. Double jump armor in time. The second hit yes. of that up smash will kind of like do a lot of damage on a, a double jump armor like that. Yeah, if you get hit by low hits of up smash, it's like over 20 damage. It's, it's like, it's significant. Good. It's got a good amount of knockback to it. The sweet spot of it. Yeah. Smash. Amsa just trying to play the platforms a little bit. Yeah, these low percents. Oh, he is able to get under. I was going to say, he's trying to set up juggles, but perfectly, he starts out a jump. Nice 50% combo. Definitely. I mean, this is definitely one of Sheik's big weaknesses just in general. Once yeah. Sheik is in the air, especially without a jump, she has a hard time landing. She doesn't really have, like, a hitbox that goes downwards that's super threatening. Like, down air is there, but it's not something you're really scared of from being below Sheik. And also, she doesn't have great drift. For both of them, honestly, she'll drop Masters. 
Oh, oh so close. Trying to reach take all the way at the top there. For an edge guard. Oh, chip, chip up, I think. Yeah, looked like it. Oh, great recovery there from from Luck. Oh, oh, caught him before he hit the ground. Yeah, the first hit breaking the double jump armor, and then the second one for good measure. And uh, yeah, Zane's introduced it in the matchup. We've seen Club do it a lot. It's really nice, especially at lower percents, because you don't have to deal with double jump. It's armor. three percent basically, because the Yoshi's waiting for you to hit them. So exactly. okay, I'm just gonna grab and reset the situation, and I'll take that percent from maybe a pummel and most of the throw. Exactly. Oh, got his jump. I thought I saw the rings, and I did. And then Randall was just a little bit too far away for that air dodge to get Amsa landed on. That is true. <laughs> if there's one person who I'll say that's the case for, Amsa is the guy. Amsa does make the impossible Holy possible. he does. Ooh, okay, that was a really nice shield drop up right there from Amsa's oh, yeah, jump. Jump from legend to this. Bluff knows it. Soft hit will do it. Like, look at this. Boom, 40. Off the grab. Ooh, does go for a re-grab at that percent. That's interesting. Probably you can do it then more because Amsa's not expecting it. He's not looking to introduce a counterplay to a re-grab. I gotta say, like, the spaced aerials that Club has been doing is super good. But if you get that nice, juicy back air from Sheik, it's, like, far enough away to where you can, like, kind of keep your spacing a little bit. And it still does so much damage and you can convert off of it. Yeah, and honestly, Yoshi, Amsa has not been surviving to the incredibly high percents that you might often see from the Yoshi, too. Club. Needle there was oh so my smart. God. Needle oh there was my so God. smart. That's so smart. Amsa does get that stock. A full stock deficit. Game three on the ropes. Oh, 74. I mean, still very doable. Yeah, but he's got to get in here. Uh, has to close out this edge guard there, sending the wrong way. Oh, and it's so hard. Especially, I feel like Yoshi's is kind of giving Plop a lot of additional recover, recovery options, side flats. And also, Randall has been kind of yeah. super good for Plop. Plop has there. been right on time to use Randall to maximum effect. Oh, he got him. He got him. That was egg startup right there. That was, that was the up No jump, even if he did get sent out off the side. Wow. And Plop. Winner's Finals, Amsa, still alive, but... Bro, Bluff is in Winner's Finals of Big House 11. Playing Falco right now versus Moki, Winner's Semifinals. I am ready for a heater, bitch. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Fox, Falco, Yoshi story, Yoshi's story to start. And as we pointed out, Moki has not taken a set off Mango since Smash Summit 11. It is 6-0 for Mango. Great choice to down tilt there, I like it, I like it. Barely missing an edge guard there. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> They're having a good time. Yo. They're having a ball. Nice, Moki. I think Moki getting stuck in the movement a little bit. That border there. Not what he wanted, I would guess. Nope. Some of the best of the biz. I will talk about Mango's wave dashes until the day I die. Because they're going to be good till the day you die. Yeah. They're going to be the longest. They have been, the and cleanest. they will continue to be the cleanest, longest. Oh, you caught the double jump with that. Good height from Moki there. We'll have one more mix up. Okay. Ooh, great fade. Yeah, great drift. Great drift after the upbeat from Moki. Yeah, I don't know who his barber is with a fade like that. Ooh, baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the thing about Mango's Falco. He loves the ribbon. Yeah, he'll instill the fear of the F smash in your heart bright and early. Oh, okay, okay. Mango went for it. Got stocks to play. Got stocks to play. Why not? And very quickly, he says that was not a mistake. Game one. He's somehow faster. Yeah. You know, just the way that he pressures, the way that he rushes down is just second to none. It is crazy the way that he makes it seem like Falco is the faster character. Right. He plays at this range where, I mean, in a, in a short range, Falco is relatively fast, right? He yeah, has yeah, a decent yeah. dash dance, you know, he's very quick aerial. Keeping it different every single time that he has interaction with you. I also really like how Mango's been comboing with down tilt as of late, and probably probably for a while, but like, <laughs> it, it feels like the down tilts have been super good, because if you're DI'ing in, and right. especially on the stage, <laughs> yeah, it's right. the, a lot of the game is fought in the corner. The center of the stage is about as wide as that beautiful fountain, right? which is, is the name of the course. Really good DI from Moki on that oh, down Oh, that's air. so scary to Mango. Yes, great reaction from Moki, picking him off immediately. Absolutely, once you see that Firebird in the air, that's a quick shine, you don't even have to deal with like, the burn, as you would for a Fox up B. 
There we go, Moki. This is what he's known for. He's extended follow-ups to the back throw to avoid the, having to deal with the platform. And Moki yeah, actually game is so good. One of the greatest tech chases oh. in modern Melee. Oh, I would say... Maybe you know the way that he tech chases? If you consider the bat, in with how good he is at tech chasing, I almost consider him the best. And this tournament has been best of five for like, <laughs> for a long <laughs> for time. like 13 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> the competitors have had to play a lot of melee. Oh yeah. And the fortunate for us, we've got to watch a lot of melee. Yeah, as a spectator, amazing. Oh, interesting little situation there. Mango now with the best DI on that back there. Don't be opening up an early lead. Mango gonna control this corner. Oh, great. Oh, oh just, so good. Just the one laser. And respecting, and respecting the double laser just like gets out of the way completely. Doesn't want to get accidentally clipped by a laser. Okay. Oh, totally. A one attack. You but need that tech. The yeah, F-Smash was almost there. Yeah, even with the tech. I yeah. know, right? Yeah. The tech is there to cover uh, mistech. Or the F-Smash is there to cover mistech. But he was, you're right, he was so close to the corner that. F-Smash almost covered that too. But dude, Mango's been down this entire game just like that. Okay, oh. power shield's coming out. Uh -oh, uh oh, oh. I thought for a moment Moki got the I shot. Thought, I thought yeah. Moki shot. I was like, I thought he fought his way in. But Mango, keeping the pressure on dude, Moki, is just, he's WP. He wants in so bad. Oh, great short and amazing short and doesn't Off get. rolls, can you get a knockdown? Yeah, getting a shine here would be huge there for Moki. The tech chase. Oh my god. Back to again. More. Okay, Off the up smash. How's Mango gonna get back to this ledge? And double laser and forward tilt. Moki's too low. Brought that back. Mango composure. Melee in 2023 is insane. It is. It is. The, there we go. Slide off. Goes for the jump out that time too, not opting to immediately counterattack. Here's that back throw again. Look at the tech chases. Look at the tech chases, Whoa. I'm telling you. Mango DI's out on the board here. They're true. Detail combos otherwise. Yeah. Great DI. Monkey gonna go for the F throw here? No. Actually does go for the up throw, and that's just percent awareness because Mango tried to get the slide off on the inside and was yeah. not able to reach it in time. And also with like the pummels there, maybe Mango's anticipating like a forward throw and then, you know, yeah, the mix up there. Yeah, trying to mix up. Okay, not expecting it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, great angle. Yeah. Really hard for Mango to cover that. Okay, spot dot shine, the classic. That'll be good for Everfish. One stock right now. Looking pretty good. Okay, gets the up air. Doesn't quite get the platform tech chase from the top platform. It's just so so much distance that you have to cover so quickly. That was kind of tough. Great neutral air. Great oh. drill! Really yes. so smart there because Sign had the opportunity to maybe get tech yes. on, the, on the, the part of the stage. Whereas if you drill, there's no opportunity to tech and they dip low enough to where you can then shine and there's nothing to tech. Super good. Dude, Moki was on time. He knew exactly what to do. Oh, Moki knew exactly what to do. Go tech chasing with the S Smash. It's more of just a percent builder, but wave dash back, S Smash. Another thing that <laughs> will likely never stop working. Sight. Yeah, he does seem to be like doesn't he? he really does. Oh, great shine grab there. I think I'm actually going for, I'm surprised that he's going for up throw in the situation where he could go for F throw mix up. Right. Set up edge guard potentials. Oh, great. Extension here, the down smash, hitting the weird hit bar. <laughs> and Moki said, I'm not just going to put it to a game five. I'm going to do it with a little bit of stank. Some Ooh. emphasis. A little style. A little style. A little style. This is Moki's warehouse. You're going to like the way I combo you. <laughs> I guarantee I it. I guarantee it. Who is it? It's Zane. Oh, the loser of this place, The Zane. loser of this place, Zane, in loser's quarters. Can you believe that? Man. Okay. So far, Mango looking pretty good, but it's pretty even. Great slide off there. Moki trying to get like a roll in. The shine bear was so fast. Okay. Okay. Fight his way back in. Okay, he's got Mango in the corner. Zane. No! Is that right Man, now? Dude, Mango lets him back. Mo Are you kidding me? Insane. The sportsmanship is... I, like, I did not see that coming. I thought Mango was going to take that one to the bank. But he he wants to do it real. Yeah. He, he says, Moki, I want to do it real against you. You give me every stop and die. Moki again, he's, he's mixing in the up throw follow-ups more now. Didn't get anything on the platform, though. Okay, it's time. Cover's taking place. Dude, avoiding forward tilt. 
Yeah. He didn't get his jump. He did. That was great recognition from Mango, realizing that the Firefox was far enough away to where he could just grab the leg. Really nice. Oh, oh that's just it. That's oh. just it. Oh my god. Dude, game five, last stop. Who's, who's it going to be this? He's taking it. Who gets the first opening? Who gets the first opening? Oh, oh shine on shield. Mango just rolling back. Okay, drill doesn't Mango rolling it. back this time, and he gets the shine. Big opening. Oh, it goes oh. right in. Oh, he's, he keeps going. It doesn't end. Shine on no B. Way. to the limit, but still, Mango, a zero to death on the last stop. Cody Schwab, Amsa won 3-1 at the offseason two, and before that, it was 3-0 for Smash, at SmashCon for Cody. The light, the head-to-head -head since Smash Summit 11 is 14-3 in Cody's favor. And Cody is someone who has made quite a deep loser's run. Uh, dropping a an extremely early set to Morse code. Winners round one of pools. That's like that's like it's a lot of sets. That's like play. so many sets. That's a lot of a lot of sets you gotta play. A round, winners round one, round one of round two pools. That's like seven sets. Because he, he has to play two in round two, then he gets the top 24, and then there I believe he played four sets. Yeah, I mean, that's what's going to happen sets, when, you, when you drop pretty low into yeah. the losers. But you get the gauntlet. Yeah. Cody is a guy who will rack that percentage up so quickly. Oh, trying to call out a spot dodge. Down tilt, getting down tilt. Oh. And a little bit too much scrap in that low percent from Opsa there. Vital in this matchup from Cody's end. Because the, the knockdowns are big. Because Yoshi gets a jab reset, gets oh, another up air. My. Cody's kind of cooking right now. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, but Amsa. Yeah, I... yeah, he doesn't have anything because he missed the wave land off the double jump. Still, getting a charge forward smash to the face, still, even though there's nothing else Yoshi can do, it still feels bad. <laughs> it does. And Amsa's got a. Or Amsa. <laughs> Yoshi's got a big face. They're kind of one in the same. Normal size face. He They're doesn't have a big oh, face. Oh, I, I was yeah. gonna say Yoshi and Officer are kind of one in the same in the, uh, nowadays. No, right? but I mean like the physical model of Yoshi. The face is large. Oh, sure. Whereas Officer is proportionally very normal. Very normal. Yeah, have a huge face. <laughs> On the left side, falling behind early is is tough for Yoshi in this matchup. Oh, are we gonna get one of these? Um, Firefox just sometimes blanks out right because he does not care about the egg whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Firefox is a pretty good move. Yeah, I think it's That's well rounded. <laughs> it's a well rounded move. Good trade there for Cody. Yeah, a really good trade. Kind of gets stuck in the wave sign there. Oh, yeah, Cody's been really loving the running shine into up air. That's a nice setup that you can throw on Yoshi. He has been trending a little bit. Yeah, it's so good. At some percentages, the up air is the perfect launcher. Dude, up air in this matchup as Fox is so good. It can break double jump armor, it combos, and it can KO as well. Grab! Oh, you're grabbing! That was so cool. No, I, I don't think I see Opsa combo to grab very often like that. Oh, what the? You just don't get very much off of it, but just the, the surprise of that animation, I think, yeah. is just cool to see. Oh, what an air dodge! but he did not really know what to do. It's such an awkward situation with Firefox burning right below you. It's shorter than Marth's grab, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it goes into the C plane. Yeah. yeah. These, these characters, for those of you, we may be moving along a two-dimensional axis in this game, but there is a third dimension. All the characters are three-dimensional, and some moves will shift you off of the two-dimensional axis. Mm -hmm. Like Spot Dodge, for example. Yeah. Spot Dodge is the classic one that you can think Yes, of. Spot Dodge is the most, the most uh, Direct well one, but yeah, it's well known that most people can relate to. Um, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> there are a lot of animations that do that as well, so uh, characters can randomly dodge. Yeah, it's Cody, outside of Club, Cody's definitely one of the other players that has given Opsa the most trouble. Yeah. Definitely moments where it feels like Opsa can do it, but man, when Cody's playing on fire in some of these matchups like Puff and Yoshi, He's yeah. got a game plan and he sticks to it. Yeah, I, I like you saying Puff and Yoshi too because when Agebox won earlier this year at Collision, he 
he was playing out of his mind, right? And Cody wasn't playing bad. So Yoshi. He's talking about secondaries a lot. Yeah, we have seen the, the Falco a little, like, once in a while. Ooh, oh, that okay. was actually sick. Hard call out on the Nair approach. Oh, and oh. then the tech mix up? Oh and, my. And the tech trap actually with the oh. second forward tilt. Because the first forward tilt, you think, okay, you're going to yes. land and then you're going to get a tech there. But the second forward tilt, you're not ready for the timing for that tech time. Oh, and then just losing his jump and getting that stop taken after all that. I like the forward smash there too because it has that kind of like pullback motion. It can avoid a hit. It's always nice to have when your animation just kind of does that for you. Definitely. Okay. Back to center, reset back to neutral. I think Omsi got stuck in the movement a little bit. I don't know if that was particularly what he wanted, especially with the way that Omsi reacted out of game. That didn't look intentional. Yeah, it didn't look intentional. And that is a real unfortunate way for Omsi to go out. Some kind of day of the week that's not Sunday, except this time it's Sunday. This time it's Sunday. And uh, Fox nears into the corner, and Marth dash dance grab. Something's never changed. Zane, the best in the business at it. Let's see if he gets a kill here. Oh, oh no, is that no impact land? Maybe he even shot himself. That little baby reverse back air is so beautiful. Yeah, then he went for a reverse forward air. Zane really, um, you know, there was this whole, you know who actually put me onto this, like really crystallized this in my mind? Oh, and look at that edge guard. Ludwig Smash Invitational. And the one was saying that, like, from his expert Mark on, of course, Shroom, the master Mark player of his own accord. And it's making him all the more fearsome. Yeah, you, when you were, uh, I remember, it's a good tone quote that hubris was the one thing that used to hold Zane back. Oh, and and I think he's found, like, the exact right he's level, he's you know? He's the Goldilocks level of confidence. Oh. It, like, he could have downed her, right? He, he could have downed her, he could have back air. He moonwalked. Is that moonwalk <laughs> or sticky wall? Is that what parts of the walk look like? Anyway, anyway they're similar, right? Yeah, they're like a variety. One's a variety. Yeah, but it's like a super major super tournament. That's a cool pick. I think sticky walking's got to be bigger than moonwalking in that case. Fair enough. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, man, it's Zane still has four heads down there, Toad. Marth is, a, you know, t sort of supposed to be uh, a little bit of a glass cannon character, so you do not want that man living at 178 percent. The up tilt's good defense. Yeah, good D. But it's it's just like, what do you do here? Down you get air? down air. I guess so. And enough. that's what you do, Toad. Brutal. That was that was a slicing and a dicing. I remember it was even the case back in the Five Gods era when Levin was coming up. He beat all the other gods before uh -huh. he beat Mutant King. You uh -huh. know, it's yeah. I do remember that. Good point. And oh, oh, nice oh, tag. Oh, he tried to hit the most beautiful angle, but gets pineapple. He looks a little bit disappointed on the player cam. Yeah. Player cam tells a, a whole story. It really does. Fox is always making the same expression. He's always looking confident, you know? <laughs> Even if he's diving off into the abyss, he's ready to go. That's right. But the players, they're human. The players, yeah, they'll they'll let you know. They'll so let you range of emotion. But wait a minute. Yeah, this is a uh, potential for a big edge guard. Nice shine spike there. Yep. A lot of Fox players will hold the edge a little longer than they yeah. need to. Or and even smaller crimes there. <laughs> you know? That's right, yeah. Not able to get away with nothing right you know? now. Yeah. <laughs> Just down tilting. Okay, that yeah, not the strongest up the end, so Moki is gonna live to fight another day, but that day might be drawn to a close. Uh -huh. It's like a yeah. vacuum vacuum blade. Dude, Marth Snare, it feels so good to use, right? <laughs> when you use it and you get that juicy, like, uh, ooh, and they just get in there. And it leads to so much. Okay, I guess four through here? Wow, he throws a lot. <laughs> he did. Okay. All right, Moki kind of trying to play the long game a little bit. Okay, big opening. The second shot doesn't quite connect. And catching Zane coming off the platform. Big up smash. Zane with that up tilt. Up tilt and the grab. Oh, man, he's dead. Oh. Yeah, Zane doesn't miss load. <gasps> wow. Big grab, the tiniest little pivot, little dash dance. Okay. Oh, wow. and that was a... Could have been more, right? Well, maybe. Maybe he gets this. Moki couldn't quite get the shine on the up uppy. Zane was just throwing out some nares back there, saying, stay away, stay away, stay away. Ooh. Frequently you get the hit that sends them back outwards, or you just edge hog them entirely. Zane with the uh, the knockdown right now, though. Ledge? <laughs> I guess Zane was reading that uh, Moki is going to drift in. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's a big shot, but Zane gets the ledge. Okay. Oh, no jump right now in the Fox. Smooth move. Uh, oh, that's going to do it. That down tilt. Does it reach below? 
It, you know, what? Like, I think that um, you can do like the perfectest side B height or um, or yep. shorten, but like Moki started the side B just a hair too close to the stage. A tight rope. The tightest rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the tightest ropes in the game. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, no, and he gets to at 58%. That was a young fox. That hurts. That hurts in my gut. You know, there are like moves where I associate a certain player as like just being able to use that move better than everyone else. Hungry Box with like puffs up air. Yeah. No one's up airing like Hungry Box, right? I think Zane is like that with Mars Downer. I swear to God, for some reason, His he has like buffed. three frames less of landing lag than any other Mars. <laughs> I don't get it. He does these landing downers and they just. Have you tried L canceling that move? It's super hard. You feel I like miss it eighty percent of the time. It's so impressive. Okay, Moki trying to power up a little bit. It, it, that, that's exactly what he's doing. He's powering up. Zane, I think, completely unfazed though, right? Man, and Moki so, was so close to, uh, to winning his winner setting. Oh, oh geez, zero. there was no ending line on that down air, Toad. That's what I'm saying. How do you recover so fast? I swear he, I don't know. He, he's in the matrix. He's modified the source code somehow. Jeez, Louise. Bro, I'm telling you, Moki is a top five player. He was ranked fifth on the and, and like Zane just takes these foxes and these fast fallers and just combos them like it's a, uh, you know, like is he working on some kind of YouTube footage for a combo <laughs> yeah, video? Yeah, seriously. Now here you can't get around that down tilt, right? He's got the the uh, Yoshi's ledge working in his favor. Yeah, he can actually correct. stab downwards. Yeah, yeah. There's maybe not even a tight rope to walk. Randall coming out uh, might even help Zane a little bit. He's not even necessarily going to need it. Oh, my goodness. Touches with dash attack? Oh, that no impact line. This oh. might be it, Toe. Oh, what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. What is he's he doing? using the, uh, some oh. moderate level of hubris right now. Man. Ah. <laughs> All right, stop the bleeding, Moki. Hey, hang he on, yeah, he's got no jump. No. Nope. Okay, lace it out a little bit. It can. A comeback could happen, but no, dang, Yoshi's a good he's stage at 134. He gets hit by good stage anything, like the vacuum blade. It goes high. He's Timber dead. back air wow. of all moves. And Zane. That's why Hope Waffles are calling him the big dog. Mango defeat Moki with the, a whole, the whole crowd cheering the man's name. Yes. Yeah. With an insane combo to close it out last stock. Insane combo off the top. Winners Ooh. finals, Tope. The winner of this set is going to be sitting in the winner's circle until we have a loser's bracket champ mm -hmm. who can maybe beat them in two sets. And there's a big dog in that loser's bracket that there's you do not want to fight if you don't have to. I would much rather stay in winners in Mango with a convincing first stock over this cheek right now. But wait a minute, plus him. Yeah, big knockdown. Up air. Okay, up air to extend the combo right now. What's the edge guard? No jump from Mango. Wow, that was pristine for Quark. Takes it right back, Toe. Yeah, again, not gonna, you're not going to get those long, drawn-out reaction tech chases from Plup, typically. Oh. Ooh, back throw had to be an accident. Okay, that's a punish for Mango. Oh, don't touch my shield like that. Ooh. Wow, that was a nice out back forward, too. I don't know if anything else combos. Mango's got, dude, no one is, the move selection for Mango when it comes to the space animals, I think especially Falco, it's just so, it's so thought out. Yeah. Really good moment backstage earlier when uh, KJ had He's a heartbreaker. Up, you, you were there, right? I was. Yeah, Mango just kind of walked over and he shared his thought process on what to do in that exact situation. And it really hit me. Yeah, even if you're maybe out of, quote unquote, out of practice, you haven't been sitting and playing the game over. Oh, that's the force match. Yeah, that's, the, that's, the, that's that hitbox. Even if you're not playing every single day, you still have that knowledge built up of these particular situations. What can go right? What can go wrong? What are your options? And uh, yeah, Mango's move selection. It's, it's really it well thought out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, even even watching someone else play, right? I thought that was really fascinating. And he was like, well, if you DI's in, you can go for like shine uh, up air or something like that off the top. Uh -huh. Deliberate with your move choice and combos. Because she's kind of actually a, a, an obnoxious weight sometimes for Falco. Uh, all right, let's see what the edge guard is. Yeah, needles. I'm just going to close it out with the back here. It is one stock apiece right now. Last stock. We've got a little bit of a comeback. Ooh, don't get chill grab by the ledge there, Mango. Yeah, they've just been trading back and forth. My oh. Oh. oh! That is a sneaky little reversal there, Club. Mango smelled blood. He went for the killing blow, looking for it to try to set up in that down air, and Club just revert the whole situation. Full needle storm, and then get under it. So I actually think Club might have been checking it, and Mango might have just barely missed the timing, right? Oh. But this game is decided on razor thin margins, and now Club is taking it to the bank. 
That bird, you know, that bird cannot fly. <laughs> when those needles come to you really need your double jump. If your double jump gets sniped by needles, it does not matter what percent you are at. Oh, that is a huge portal right now. Nice slide up for Mango. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some defense. Dude, the double needle turnaround turns back around and throws the needles Mango's way. Oh, and that up smash doesn't kill. That was reminding me of that uh, summit set. Unreal. Yeah, on stadium. This is, a, this is a close to a four stop right now. You gotta do all the work with this one Falco. Oh. You're getting back into the corner, Mute King style. Oh. Okay, and that'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it for not getting four stock. The Mango's gonna grant him the JV and runs right off stage. Let's go next. Pump is just on it right now. He is on it. Oh, beautiful down to him. Dash attacking past Mango's shield, not able to get a punish for there. Mango's conversion forward smash. It feels like insurance, but it the like run the risk if you can actually mess up just that. We just witnessed the back how it can backfire. Wow, a defensive jab from Plum. It's like uh, he paid the insurance policy, but uh, the, the insurance company ran out of money. Ooh. Couldn't, couldn't pay it. <laughs> I love that analogy. Oh! oh. Don't! That Never tree done. tried to save Plum, but <laughs> his velocity was too high. Four air shield pressure's got more than one hit. How does it feel to be Plum to just three to three stock this player, have him run off an SD because he doesn't want to mess with you, just to go back and start kicking you? On the exact same oh. stage. Ooh. This Ooh. is like all forward smash KO, so. Yeah, that's how it's looking. Okay, downer, downer. Yeah, I think oh, he, I mean, Mango just down there. Yeah, I was expecting the down air, down air, but he did down air to run, down air to peace out, <laughs> down air to down air to peace out. Goodness, uh, that's still inside. It actually is so similar, though. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Mango might not. Oh! <laughs> that's, a, that's the second time this tournament, by the way. He's done run off down air. <laughs> well, we all know what he was going for, but it just didn't, didn't quite do it. But he's up a lot, so it's not. Not the end of the world. There. I guess I've seen him do that when he's got two stocks or one stock. Yeah. And then when you miss it, ooh. ooh. Both times he's gone for it and died, he's up three stocks for one. Yeah, so. you can do. Ooh. Yeah, that was always going to be the snake coming in from uh, the sheet there. It's hard. If you look at the, um, yeah, the throw zones yeah. oh. on the control stick. Yeah, they're you'll bigger. See, yeah, they're, um, it's a little weird. Yeah, it's not what you expect. You think that all be, you know, equal like size. Equal, yeah, particles. up, down, but left, no. and right. It's way easier to get a back throw or a forward throw than up or down for some unknown reason. Mango right now playing the platform oh, beautifully. Yeah, what a way that. Yeah, Mango really good about knowing when I can get away with just taking away and she actually can't make it over in time. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Falco privilege, right? If you're Fox, you can't take Because Falco yeah. takes far, much farther than Fox. It's true, yeah. Falco takes really far. I mean, so does she. Again, need I remind you, there are heavy hitters in the loser's bracket right now. Yeah. Well, I'm sure would like to just advance in winners to grants. Yeah. Oh! What a almost into the turnaround grab! Trying to read a ledge recovery for Mango. Yeah, Mango's uppies have been quite tricky. Oh, and Mango down to his last stop right now! Up tilt, but I saw an up smash come out. Yeah, like a charged up smash. Ooh, that dash attack was so huge! Mango with great smash GI! I just get a giant knockdown right here from He's in the Sheik zone! 94 on this bird. He's off stage at 108. He might be dead right here. Benito. That's it! Plum has won the winner's bracket of the Big House 11. Oh, he still has what's probably going to be an intense set to close out the tournament. Wouldn't that be crazy to have Plum be a I I don't think he's ever won a Big House. I don't think he's won a Big House. He wasn't even at the last Big House. No. It was quick. But, but Cody has been so much time and so many he's just sunk so much uh, dedication has. into this matchup in particular and saying no i really do believe in the fox i can win it and um it, it really does show i think that out of any matchup at the top level right now this is the one where like one guy's just playing it so much differently than everybody else no one can seem to and none of the foxes can emulate what cody's doing in, 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 in the fox they were in the sunken place oh, yeah yeah left was switching to she uh, they were saying it's impossible. Dude, I remember I was in the car with Oscar one time. We were driving, you know, back to the hotel from Summit. And Oscar was like, man, Tove, get my get, get, get tired of bar. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Oscar, I think it's the same, man. He's like, yeah, yeah, you know, maybe it's the same. And get kind of tired of Zane. 
<laughs> Maybe this is getting kind of tired of saying. You should have said that. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're right. I mean, Cody really pushed himself. I was watching even some streams as they were practicing where Cody would be calling Zayn, be yeah, like, man, yeah, yeah. this feels impossible. What am I supposed to do? Right. And Zayn would just kind of tell him, you know, you got to mix it up a little bit more. Right. You know, I think you could do it. Man. That's our privilege. Now, if I did. It would be a different story, I yeah. Hate, we, I would probably hate it. You probably wouldn't be able probably, to commentate it. I'd be annoying on Twitter. I'd be like, this is like 2-6-4. This is like 7-3. Like, like you know, don't, don't get me started on, you know, 8-2. So, no, I, I enjoy watching this. But I do enjoy watching Cody. I mean, I don't, you know, this game one looks like it's probably, yeah, that's probably going to be Curtis. Yeah, he puts that up out there. If if Cody was high enough, he would have gotten hit by him, but he dipped lower and Zane knows, okay, I can throw up. Yeah. Checkmate, third bar, we're running out of him. <laughs> That's right. Barn industry's getting a little PO'd. Stop burning our barns. 56% out the out the gates. That's a great good start. Yeah. Ray on the platform to get that extend. Get the movement from Cody. And he knew. Ooh. He knew the counter was coming. And you like and, and what I love is like, I don't know, there was a moment, yeah. Moki um, Zane, where Zane kind of did a, oh wow, Clean. surprised to see uh, survival yeah, there. Too. Yeah, Moki like had a counter baited out and like kind of panicked on the punish. Yeah, he Cody punish there him. really calmly was like, oh, well, I, you're, you're stuck in the counter and I got all day. Yeah. And you love to see that, just that presence of mind. So much of fighting games in general is Go! like, where is your attention? Why is he living? Oh! Yeah, Cody finally closing that one out. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Zane like stole whatever ninja scroll that you, you had, <laughs> where he gets an extra jump or something. I love the idea that it's a literal ninja scroll. I just love that imagery. He stole it out of the uh, out of the shrine. That's right. Yeah, like the Kage Bushin no jutsu dude. You can't have that. And he just starts using it. He just starts using it insta. <laughs> yeah, he... insta. The same episode. That, that, same, that same fight. That same fight. Now all of a sudden he's always got his jump. It must be written very um, concisely, you know. Yeah, this role. It's just like it's gonna like, have to glance like, at do it. This. <laughs> it's like not that hard. It's like, all right. That's what it is sometimes. With that kind of uh, ancient knowledge, though. Sometimes it's not, it's not even words. Just you look at the image, and then your brain, gets, the structure of your brain gets changed. That's right. Speaking of five percent, one ninety-one finally, and up till off the top. <laughs> All right, that's a huge knockdown right now. Yeah, I mean, this is like as as bad uh, in, in, in Cody's direction as I feel like uh, game one was for Zane. Mm -hmm. Look at that Amazing slide off. Amazing slide defense. off. And no jump right now from Zane. Oh! Can't live that. And you need the height from that side platform to guarantee the kill there. <laughs> on the feet. On the feet. Oh, that is a huge, is that soccer angle on the back here? No. no, I don't. What know I do that. know is that Zane's at 67% right now. Yeah, and Cody's Mark working on another one touch another. box, but it's I mean it's harder on Dreamland by like a lot. By a lot. I think the width of the platforms, the height of the platforms, ooh, and that was a lot of jabs. Zane kept his jumps amount, probably because the ninja scroll. <laughs> but we oh, we are rinsing and repeating right now. Ooh, that could have been. I think Roll would have yeah, taken it. But yeah. Yeah. Cody just not messing with any of that. That deck gets faded out. Cody show up on the board. I'm telling you, blow for blow. That's what I'm expecting. You don't see 11 and 11 in sets, and then just no, that, call it after game I one. I think that barn industry. They're, they're, <laughs> yeah. Their reps are getting. <laughs> they're actually building them more structurally sound so that they don't get burned out of three games. Exactly. They Every time they the play, they're, 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 they're <laughs> and the barn they're, 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 they're giving, they're taking away. The, truly. And that's what the game's all about, isn't it? They, they're actually, they've spent the last like 10 years building this beautiful, intricate balance of Fox vs. Mars against each other, yeah. knowing each other's 10, and then they just burn it down. In tournament. <laughs> In tournament. That's true. They build it on those practice sessions, yeah. and then they burn it. And Zane right now, I mean, this is... FD to We have seen Cody win here, but, you know, you have to outplay them. I, I, this should be the mark win. Although Cody, I mean, that was a phenomenal juggle right there. Yeah. By the way, Cody just matched out of that grab. I, I think actually <laughs> he shook so hard the player cam shook from the force of his uh, of his mash, and he did mash out. That's so crucial. Yeah, that's you know, right. Grab from Mars is to do so much damage. But uh, Cody he limited it to you know 20 and 30 percent from a from a grab on FD. What an air Zane with the dash grab, he meant the turnaround grab. I love that he crouched that 4B, by the way. Crouched under it. Wow. Zane crouches under that 4B, uh, knowing that he could just get the punish. Mm -hmm. On the landing, right? Uh -huh. 
That's all oh my god. Nothing. Yeah, Barely so, living. I'll smash would have killed. Um, that is wow. I mean, Cody's edge guard this this game. I mean, it's it's just been the difference maker. Like you are actually seeing a fox kind of out punish Amari. Zane knows he's he's got one way back in this, but he's getting up throw up here, Bobby. Did it, don't jump. Oh, he's got it. Okay, he's living. Oh, that was scary. Wait a minute. Oh my Still scary, goodness. Cody. Cody's running away with this. Wait a minute. Really Here's the grab. Is. Cody with a smash or not? He knows. Yeah. Oh, that's a big forward smash. Wow, neutral air, huh? I love that edge guard by Zane. So important, but Zane, no space, no stage. Oh, oh but the table the table the turn. Oh hey. my goodness, and we're hearing the A's. Hey. Up air. He's away. Amazing He's get with Cody. Yeah. Right. So far uh, away on that up air. But the sensor both high. Oh, what wow. in the world? So Cody actually like kind of pseudo hit confirms the jab. Doesn't even realize Zane was CCing, but then Zane doesn't play off the interaction. He only like he like flickers his shield. What was that? That was a mistake. Did get punished as hard as it could have. He still canceled. He still out canceled it though. So. Yeah, maybe it was a bait. Yeah, maybe. Most other Mars cannot. Uh, they have those three extra frames of landing lag on down here, so Cody thought he could punish, but not with Zane. I did not know what was. Amazing pivot grab right there from Zane. Actually, just outspacing Fox's grab. The forward smash. No Maybe jump. a little bit of the mix up. Yeah, wow. Somehow, Cody able to navigate through these forward air down to, through the forward air down to a wall, you know? Yeah, his, uh, I mean, his spacing has just been so natural. Like, he's playing at ranges where he's keeping himself safe from the dash back. He's, like, spacing around it, and he's not running into uh, the blade on these aerials that Zane is throwing out. Playing, I think, a little bit further back. Okay, it does get grabbed when you right get there. those grabs, man, this stage is going to look different. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cody didn't even get to play this stock so far. He came down off the platform. He got grabbed Ooh. moments later. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now he gets to run around. There's finally the first kill in this, in this game with the, uh, the up smash from Cody. Another up throw here from Zayn. Oh, wow, what a bash out from Cody. He, like, got a double jump up there that I don't think he really wanted. Okay, hang on. Yeah, Zane's just gonna be able to get the left there. Ooh, up B. Didn't crouch at that time, so tried to challenge that uh, that four B with jab, but it didn't work out. Cody right now. Yeah, he's just getting checked in the corner, trying to make his way through this wall from Zane. Ooh, big tip of four there. Another. Another, and now Fox with no jump. That's gonna do it. 192%, but honestly, Zane in control, like, basically the whole time. The vertical and horizontal sweet spot. The double. The super sweet spot. The super sweet spot. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, and that, I mean, is he dead? Fat the eye makes up right there. He, no! Yeah, I think he could've rolled. I think he could've rolled. Could've rolled. But still a commanding lead here. Then again. <laughs> Okay, he is going to be able Ooh. to get it right there. Man, walks up, lets the hit stun breathe. Let it breathe. And lets the tip. It's a stroll in the park. Stroll in the melee park. Kind of bizarre, like, it's just like so fascinating to me. You don't see this too often. Uh, both of these players lose the players that are just no longer in the bracket. Yeah, true. Okay, Cody takes the first talk. This is, this game is going to determine so much about the story mm -hmm. of how this top four unfolds, this oh. top eight, this whole tournament. Zane going up with that weak up B. Cody's living at 157 right now. Does finally get taken out. 140 right now on Cody. Ah! Oh. Another short. Four no chippers and sets right up. There's the up tilt final with Beautiful move choice, so. Cody has literally survived to pass 160 on both his first two stocks, and in spite of that, Zane's got a baby lead. But that shine flick is going to even it up. It's burning down, Toe! I'm watching it right before my eyes! That's right, that we... <laughs> the fire has been started. Who comes out alive? Who walks out of that burning rubble? Oh, that is a huge up tilt! I think that was a weird tipper. No shot! That was a weird tipper! Now Cody's got a mountain to climb! Zane up! The big dog! Oh, Zane the big dog! Oh, what a bash! The big dog! A huge grab right now! Oh, Cody's got another fleece on life. Oh my goodness, And even Bobby. the Ninja Scroll couldn't save us from last stop, Toe. 
Zane we're back, we're even. Hits. Oh! <laughs> He's up there! Oh! oh my goodness, up there, up there! Zane with the bash! He oh, goes the top of back! Side pit top flat. Cody playing so tricky. Yeah, Cody's looking good right now. But Wait. Zane, Zane's in. Down tilt. Oh, oh, oh that's gonna do it! That's gonna do it! Cody knocks the big dog Zane out of the turn of the player seven on the up smash. The hit confirm off of that sign. Cody, Cody Schwab versus Mango, Big House 11 Losers Finals. This is exactly where Mango was uh, last year, Losers Finals. Wow, you're right. At the Big House 10. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And I mean, he was able to make it in the grand stack. <laughs> Dalgo trying to fly with those kicks. A little flutter hush there. You can't fly that way. You need to use your jetpack. Ooh! Again, I mean, just the move selection from Mango just impresses me every single time. First it up in there, to you! Cody a little bit wow. late to that jab yeah. reset, yeah. Slow reaction sometimes. Just got a lot on the mind. I mean, Melee just a very fast-paced game. Mango with a huge opportunity, no job! Mango's such a beast no, this he match. No, he didn't know! Ooh, that's just fair. Mango did get a shield up, but I think maybe he could have got a shield up. Oh, no! Down there, oh, Mango misses! Just off by a bit. The nice thing is he's always doing it when he's up, first of all. Oh, what a weird, like that was that's like a, a jab reset. Yeah, with, a, with like the second, second hit of reverse. Reverse, reverse, reverse air. second hit forward air. Someone oh, too low. I've never seen a super tournament like this before, Toe. I've, maybe never ever. I've Off never throw. sweated like this. Uh, I've never not been able to breathe oh. quite like this. Oh, all the pressure right now for Cody. What a down tilt. Hit confirmed and gets the edge guard with a nice read on Mango's upbeat. Oh. Oh, there. Oh, what a down tilt. Yeah. And one good down tilt deserves another. Oh, a little bit of a leap. And what is that? Now I'm not sure, yeah. You're gonna get punished. Oh, he got kicked so hard. Oh, that's a good edge right there. Game two, tied up. That shield sure was just so clean. So, I did. Mangoes wave that just went on point. Little details are happening. Blink and you miss it. So many of these sorts of details happening. Yeah. Every game. Oh, we got a good fight right now. Cody just coming down with that neutral air. Knowing that, you know, if they trade, Cody's not necessarily going to go flying. He's got the cliff to his back. And now Mango in there comes out of spot. Great reaction from yeah. Cody. Everything we've seen in this top eight isn't Cody just living to like the deep 100 percent Yeah, now that you pointed out, though. Absurdly often. He's just there's something like his DI or something is just on a level that none of the boxes are having. Either that or his offensive pressure is such that, you know, we talk about in melee how poor momentum is. I feel like yeah. Mango, he's not getting the combos he normally does. Wow, that looked like it was a pretty low percent KO on that up smash. Yeah, didn't like Mango died all the way out. But, um. What a read for Mango. Joint. Percentage gets like in the dark. Yeah. Way. Yeah, the dark red. Oh! The white white color. Color. Okay, Cody waiting up the lasers. What's it gonna be right now? Up till. No jump still. Ooh. Nice shield. Cody's got his own chance. Oh. Wow! And he's just not gonna make it. Wow, he flew so far. Wave that back and let the forward smash rip. Go to here when it comes to this particular matchup. Nah, uh -huh. I've heard. Falco just sometimes can't really catch a break. We're seeing Mango right now try to get back to center stage anyhow, anyway, but Cody just keeping this going. Nice defense, smash the eye at the drill to get a uh, slide off, but Cody all over it. This is actually Cody. What's this punish going to be for Mango? Fox is shine just being bigger than Falco's. Yeah. <laughs> Paradoxically, even though it does look visually smaller, yeah, it's, it's very funny. confusing. Mango, look, I think looking for some kind of jump. Wow, Cody. If I hear the crowd, they are cheering for Mango. They want to see oh my goodness. I think Mango and Grand Finals. The champion of Big Houses 2, 4, 6, and 9. Six and 9, yes, I believe oh. you're completely correct. Oh, so well. Neither Plub nor Cody have taken a Big House, so... Yeah, this would be a, a, a brand new winner. 
Just like, just like last year. Another mango or a brand new champion. Oh, oh. He barely was able to reach the platform right there. He does get sent upward in that awkward sort of angle. Mango gets hit, but he's back. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he doesn't. Wow, Mango not able to bounce off the ground, and that is tough. That is basically a death sentence for your stock if you're Falco. What a chase down right now. Cody just all over Mango's uh, defensive options. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. And we got a down air. Mango with the first stop fight on Battlefield. Whoa, my, oh my goodness. Power shield back air. That was like a turn around power shield so that you can get a back air instead of a neutral air. Just for that extra little lane. Up there off the top. To the top rope. Oh, what a... Dude, Cody's up smashes. That was really scary for Mango. Yeah, it was. That was I like basically 50-50. Basically Guess for the stock. Thank you. Wow, man. Cody's, Cody's edge, edge guard. guard. Toe. Like, he is a... It feels like every time Mango's actually gone for side B, which is not that often, Cody's just chosen. Yeah. I've noticed right. that too, but here we go. Yeah, you need that kill. Yeah. But seriously, yes. Ooh. The ratio is coming into play. Mm. Ooh, and there's the one. There's the one for Cody. Mango on his last stop, potentially of the big house 11. But Cody also on his last stop this game. But he's looking for some kind of grab, some kind of knockdown. The crowd the loudest. I heard them when a Dr. Connor was on the screen. Me too. Mango getting the grab. He's in. Oh, neutral air off that. Oh, Cody! Mango gets no fastball. A little bit of a panic of a roll. Cody, Cody's. Cody's looking Mango for some Mango's in. Oh, oh. Quick yes. one to get up attack. Mango goes up. Oh, he's dead. Back there. Cody. Oh, wow. My goodness. Takes it 3 1 over Mango. Mango plays his third. I'm probably right. of the club club. Okay. Know who I want to win. There you go. There you go. Well, I mean, your boy is in uh, winners. And I feel so. like it's about time. It's about time for Pluck to win, you know, a super major. But then is it, even if he wins this, then he's gone above super major and he's winning a super, super tournament. That's right. We're going to grab Ooh. two ledge right there. Cody. Oh, these needles. Those needles only oh, my hit, goodness. Wait a minute. Wow, that could have been some sort of kill, I think. Yeah. It's a bit of a tricky situation. Yeah, there's that punish off the grab. It was maybe 20%. Oh, yeah. Cody, I think, wanted to shine turn around, grab ledge or something. Get side B, and Plup is taking advantage of that. Wow. I don't even need to edge hog. I'll just hit you. Yeah, a little smile coming out of Cody. He is kind of, uh, I've seen a couple of tech gloves this game, but he was playing clean before it, so. I don't know if he's consciously worried about it, but that's always going to be a little bit of a concern, right? Yeah. But all you need is if your bluff is three games. That's right. Oh, that backer comes out a little bit too early. Huge up smash there from Cody. I mean, some great decision making with these downers. Yeah, actually kind of beating out Plump's offense, but okay, I think that's going to be game one. And Plump may be one third of the way of claiming a Big House 11 title. And of course, Cody going to final destination. I mean, this is such a brutal stage for, for Sheik in the matchup. Up throw, up air. Gets a second one. Already you're at that percent where you can start converting shine into like shine, shine, up smash. Up throw's gonna start killing with up air. Oh, another one of those side B flubs, yeah. Let's keep it going. 50%, 59. Oh. Uh, Cody escapes to the ledge. Yeah, that's always going to be one way that Fox can kind of try to get out. It's like base. Okay. Oh, run up shield from both players. Cody with some tricky edge guard stuff. Plump with a nice wall dunk on FD, but, uh, or wall jump on FD, but yeah, that's not going to be enough. Cody doesn't even really need to fight near the ledge, to be honest with you. You don't need to give him any edge guard opportunities. Uh -huh. But, I mean, Plump's gonna get one, hang on. There, there it is, the back throw. He had been just down throwing even at the ledge. But I mean, yeah, something about Cody's offstage game all day today, like, he is just 
Leathers coming out on top, whether he's the one edge guarding or he's the one recovering. Gets taken off stage. Game three. This set is tied up, and we're on found very different stage than FD. Yeah, a lot. I think a lot better for for Sheik in, in a lot of ways. Ooh, up in there. Interesting. Yeah, maybe, uh, okay, these days, people got ways to cover that, right? Yeah, that up, I mean, the up air is very much working out. Ooh. Crouching under that forward B, here's the punish is continuing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Shield drop up air. Yeah, that was hot. The launcher. Ooh. And that needle, like, up smashing the needle gave that up, uh, the, the little bit of lag that what needed. Shield. Yeah, I swear, like, Pup has just been jumping in the air and, like, hanging out silent vector style almost. And then putting out an aerial, and the guy runs into us. Oh, a reverse! That was terrible luck for Cody. But that forward smash reverse. Now all this bonus damage is coming Pup's way. Mm -hmm. And the higher percent you get, you know, Fox is not going to be able to crouch cast anymore. Four kills going to start knocking down. Pup's going to be oh, and now all this. like that. Oh. Two one block. He's Four. one game away, Tony. He's on the break. I don't know if he can be done, but it's looking like it might. Might happen, Toe. That's right. He's up in the counter pick war. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, that's the nice thing for Sheik is like, FD and Pokemon Stadium are really bad, but at least, I kind of miss Pokemon. He doesn't have to win here, but you'd like to. Cody has to win here. Because Club's up a game and a set. Cody 100%. Yeah, Cody is literally on his last legs right now. Maybe not literally. Well, they are his last legs. Yeah, that he's on his last legs. Yeah, there's two of them. These are his last legs. You're not getting smothered by these weird aerials and tilts coming out from Sheik like on Founded Dreams. Ooh! That was a big dash attack, but didn't get oh. the down smash. Cody rolling right towards mm -hmm. one. Double dash oh. attack. Oh. And no aerial from uh, nope. Club. He has some weird flubs. Okay, Cody kind of coming out on top of that spot dodge battle. But the up smash does not quite kill. Nice. I think he waited just a tiny amount before swinging up from the ledge just to make sure that he actually completed the edgehog. Great timing of Cody. Plup is going to get this stock, but yeah, one stock deficit. That board, so. Yeah, yep. One stock deficit. Oh, and that's just turn to the two just like that. But razor thin margins, Bobby. Razor thin. Super Smash Brothers Melee, that kind of game. Right now we're seeing why Cody is the favorite, why he's got an 8-1 record against Club since 7-11. That's right. And I think that style um, that we really saw that was effective on, on Fountain of Dreams, where, you know, Pup would kind of jump and throw these zeros out mid-stage, mid and they were just catching Cody a lot. Now with this stock lead, this percent lead, Cody's just like, hey, I'll just hang back. If you want to throw out some weird aerials, I'll wait him out. Be my guest. <laughs> yeah, and maybe I'll get some laser damage along the way. Club's like one up smash or one up air from death here. Oh. Yeah, that's right. It might, it might not even be that. It might just be like a neutral air up back air. There it is. Up smash off the top. First set, game five coming up, Toast. Also. Absolutely. I mean, blast zones. It's, it, yeah, no, no, it's, it's wild because I think from the neutral, uh, neutral game point of view, it really does play to the strengths of what Club's kind of been doing in the set that's been working out. But you die so early here and. Oh my goodness, Cody again. Why is he always at 160, Bobby? Nobody can kill this Fox. 183. That was, dark, that was like dark, dark brown was yeah, the those, color of his Those percent. numbers were getting like charred, roasted. They were. Oh, that was such a great idea there. Oh my god. Going straight up. Okay, yeah. Nice recovery there from Plug. Waits it out a little bit, Let's gets a knockdown. Get something started. That's what it's. That's what the situation's calling for. Is it really to get something started? Because Cody's been cooking this game. Yeah, Cody doesn't need. Cody right. doesn't need to be told. Something you know just I mean? got started. Started. That got a little bit weird for Cody right there. Oh, oh big knockdown. Okay, Cody stopped the bleeding on that side, but 75 on uh, his second last stock is way closer than um, I think it. Cody would have liked. No way, so. Weak back here. Do you need one more? No nice way! Declare. It's last stop right now! Plop. Will we see the reset? Or is Plop sick of it? Cody Schwab playing super aggressive and actually just running and gunning under Plop with these up airs. Shy guy. The side guy's coming to play! Oh, and this is an edge guard opportunity. This is going to be damage. He did the perfectly timed anti-air back here and... Plop's still living, but... 
Oh, the Elder Gods get scouted out, Bobby. He's got to turn into Princess Zelda. And Cody Reset. Swamp resets the bracket. Man. That game five was closer than I thought it was going to be. But now we're in set two. Really all you could say. Wow. That's a rap sheet, Toby. Uh, yeah, that is... Those are some. Those are some gamers. That's out of control. Oh, Plop, you can. Uh, yeah, you can't miss those edge guards. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that. I, oh, that bear was a little bit of a freebie. I mean, it doesn't feel so impactful on like the first off. But we saw what happened on that Yoshi's game, Bobby. It does. What was up? One thirty to yeah. zero. Missed the edge guard, and then suddenly was way down in the hole. Look, look at it. Look at it, Toby. Oh my God. It's like it's happening again. It's like That's not, a good point. They're probably not close. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know who else it could possibly no. be. I mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cody up. Let's yeah. recover right here. Oh, that was amazing. Uh, edge guard from Plug. Okay, that dude. That down here. Needle? What? Is, oh, four tilt just whipping Cody Plot with that space. He is getting so many of these, like, weirdo situations. Like, even here, he's getting a lot of good bounces of the ball. Yeah. Okay, closes that one out. One stock apiece right now. You need a grab. You need a knockdown if you're club. Cody getting a big opening. Oh. I, I, Cody playing lightning fast right now. Yeah. Tech chasing with Nair. Oh! Oh! That was so there. scary. Get that? It was scary. So I straight up, I heard the back air noise and my brain went, Plup just won. Because I thought he did double jump near. A 60th of a second. Cody just decisively went down there. Oh my god. Cody right now. And like, the way he's fighting out of shield, going for these crouch cancel forward smashes. And it felt like you ran out of gas, like, yeah. you know, you just slow down a little bit. Because it's exhausting. In losers, you have to play just the way double elimination brackets are. You have to play twice as many sets uh, yeah. to get to the same spot in bracket. Right. Um, and yeah, I mean, Cody just looks like... He's fired uh, up. There, there's just infinite gas in the tank. Like, what's going on here? Like, this, this uh, There's no, no limit to this guy's energy. He's looking as scary as he looks. Oh, oh what? Just a pivot. It's a bit of a, a zero percent side B off stage. <laughs> That's the quintessential SD. That's the SD of SDs. I did that just the other day. <laughs> Trying to get used to playing Fox Matt, Matt with reverse lasers. To have the short side being off stage. That's an SD. Yeah, there's nothing you can do after you hit that button. Bump's got to take that to the bank. Oh, wow. He went for that game move uh, forward or effect chase, but easily. Yeah, Bump is trying to find his footing on the stage. Okay. I like that. Yeah, once you miss that first thing, you're really not hitting the second one. Edge guard again. Oh, that side! That's that side he did the save! That's what it is. Oh, he two, oh. I mean, yeah, I, the I, victory lap <laughs> is coming to a close. It's crazy to say such a thing about an incredible competitor like Club, who can honestly dismantle me before I even know what I'm doing, before I'm even oriented. Club is like one of my nightmares. Like, I would hate if I ever had to play him. But for Cody, it's looking like a wrap. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I mean, you need, you need the kill here. Okay. He's coming back. Oh, no. He's not going to no. die until his percent is dark brown. <laughs> Look, it's still pretty white. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I like your call, though. You know what I mean? No, I, that was so much more complicated He's than it needed dying. to be. There's a fox kicking in as soon as Plup tries to set up for a forward air. I mean, Cody was getting in against Zane with those forward airs and down air. I mean, Marth looks so much harder for Fox to get in on than she. Yeah. It's like if he was prepared to do it there, yeah. He's more than prepared to do it here. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I can say nothing else, it's that Cody is insisting that Plub get, uh, unleash himself, you know? Absolutely, He's yeah. insisting that Plub plays incredible. Plub needs and, to bring it. Yeah. If he's able, if we go to a game four, a game five, that would be incredible. But right now, it's looking like Cody is one stop away from being our Big House 11 champion. Tearing through more names than I could possibly remember. 
in the loser's bracket from hell at this super tournament. Last stop, game three. Grand final set two. But he's, he's got a full get stack of needles. He's got yeah. a whole new stack. Giant. The needles get baited out. Down tilt. Oh, he's oh, getting boxed. This is damage. 80 to zero right now. The shot the connect. What's it gonna be? Wave set, wave set, up smash. 150, you can't let that. Cody Schwab, can you just say the names one more time for me, Cole? Tell me what just happened in the last two days. After yeah. Cody was sent to losers by Morse, to Cole, by Morse Code. By Morse Code Samus at the beginning. Of 128 or That's something right. Like that. And defeating Faust. I gotta put, press back on my browser button right now. Hang on a minute. The thing is loading. You literally have to navigate to so many pages to even read it. Faust, Polish Nun. And then I'm loading the next page because that's how this <laughs> we works. Gotta load a new page. And I don't want to miss, misspeak here. Hungry Box, Ansa, Zane, Mango, and Plup twice. That's. So, I mean, you can do another finger sets. if you want. Nine sets against all of the best players in, in the world, basically. In just the loser's bracket. In just the loser's bracket.